Next up, we speak to uh, Shirley Fisk and uh, Tony Oliver-Smith as they launch the AAA's Climate Change Task Force. So first of all, thank you very much indeed for joining us today. We really appreciate that, so thank you very much. So the uh, AAA has, uh, has uh, decided to implement a, a task force on uh, climate change. So tell us a little bit about, about why that is. That's a good question. We, uh, this bubbled up from the membership of the AAA from the uh, concerns that anthropology and anthropologists felt about um, seeing all the effects of climate change in the field, I think, and seeing what's happening in Tuvalu, seeing what's happening in the Arctic, um, and not have, having a feeling of being able to have a voice or having a, a way to connect with other people uh, that are anthropologists. That's one thing. And the other thing is we don't have a way to connect with outside the public in general or the public media. And so we wanted to have a task force to look into the issue, see how broad and difficult it is, and then do those things. That is to have, have a wider visibility with the media, have a wider visibility with, um, with the public in general, public education. And so that's really what the task force is all about. So when people think about climate change, they think about science or they, they, they think about economics, but, but why anthropology? Um, anthropology really is the profession and the discipline that really has the breadth of understanding of human nature and experience to be able to talk about what it means to people and see it globally. So number one, the archaeological and paleoarchaeological, the, the record on evolution, um, and then our contemporary uh, you know, anthropologists there in uh, the Amazon or wherever are, are lots of data points out there that we can put towards understanding what's happening to people in a real-time basis. Tony, let's pick up on that, uh, understanding what's uh, happening to, 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 to people. Tell us a little bit about your work and, and the effect on communities of climate change. Well, I've been working for a long time on the issue of natural hazards and disasters, and there is a there is a, a, a close connection uh, between um, certain hazards, climate-based hazards and disasters and climate change now. And um, the issue that I've been working with primarily is uh, the